I've looked at what has been happening for, for many years, for generations really, in, in Furness, where our, many people come out of school with great qualifications, but not enough of our young people do. And we've got such incredible opportunities here now in the Furness area, and even more on their way with the new jobs on the horizon. But you know, our own young people are not going to be able to get those unless we're able to raise attainment at school. He'd had this idea for a summer camp um, in which children could, could come along and obviously this was through his work uh, elsewhere. Um, he knew that I'd been involved in quite a few different community projects and specifically with Inspiring Barrow and he asked whether I would uh, get involved, particularly on the physical activity side. I hope we can achieve two things. One, and on a on a, on a tangible level, um, I hope we can make a, a bit of a difference to, to those uh, nine, ten year olds who are going now into their final year of primary, primary school with the important uh, SATS test coming up and then making the transition into secondary school. We can, if we can give them a bit of extra confidence in their numeracy and literacy, that can just help them at a time when so many children slip back through the big six week break. We've got three weeks uh, and for each day, we were splitting the, the, the groups, uh, the, splitting the children into two groups, and each day they will, they will do half of the day on physical activity and half of the day on, on numeracy and literacy re uh, related tasks. We want to try and make all of it fun, uh, even the, t the time in, in the classroom. When you've got a group in here who um, they're not quite sure what the ground rules are, it's a new environment, you know, how do you set standards of, of discipline and behaviour, for example, in a way which will, you know, not stay overly strict and formal, but will enable them to have a proper learning experience? I've had to obviously plan the activities, think about how these would be carried out, and I, I've really enjoyed doing that because it's thinking about all the exciting things that we can do through numeracy and literacy. I've used um, quite a good structure really where sometimes, some days it is, um, you know, we'll start off with a start and then we'll kind of have a main activity and then we'll end up with maybe a little game or something. Whereas some days um, there's been more of a focus on literacy or numeracy, one or the other. So I'd say it's kind of focused on the big activity of the day rather than um, we have to get through this today, we have to do this, we have to do that. After those first couple of days when they were nervous and making new friends, you've, you've now seen them get a lot out of this. Um, Lots of people smiling, lots of people tired by the end of the day, which, it, which is great. But I've noticed that they've gone from really just being focused on, on the activities and looking forward to them to actually the overall majority having a good time in the classroom as well, enjoying their, their learning, which is what this was all supposed to be about. So I'm really pleased. A lot of the kids are here for different reasons. A lot of the kids at the start didn't, you know, may have got on the bus and, and may have seen it as extra school for three weeks. The benefits I think I've seen after the first week, the children look forward to getting up every morning on the bus, are always excited. The kids get to try a range, from my side, the physical side, they get to try a range of different activities, such as uh, we'll be taking them canoeing and kayaking. We took some of the kids earlier last week, we'll be taking some of the kids this week. And that is something that a lot of the kids last week were very scared of. Open water, some of them haven't done it before, some of the people didn't even know there was a a canoeing and kayaking club in Barrow. We had one or two that wanted to take that up and have signed up for um, to start joining the club and express an interest. So they'll be doing canoeing and kayaking, lots of fun based things like temping bowling, lasers on, sometimes things that are seen as a treat maybe as a family and it's learning to, to work as part of a team. Overall, I mean, I'm so pleased this has been a success because we, I didn't have this idea till the turn of the year in January. And so I have been, we've been blessed by incredible people who've been put this together and helped us raise the money at really lightning speed, far faster than you would normally expect for this kind of project. And I think it's undoubtedly been a success. I want to, I want, I want to sit down with the people who are evaluating this and, and kind of get into the guts of, 
of you know the what it's achieved academically how much we can measure that how much we can improve it in the future but certainly in terms of you know sending those children out as as ambassadors for what the kind of thing we're trying to do there's been a tremendous amount of support um, when we we first calculated what it would cost in terms of facilities obviously employing the, the teacher and all of the activities that we're doing as well we talk, sort of took a sharp intake of breath so it, it, it was quite a lot of funding nearly £25,000 for the, for the three weeks which is a lot to try and get um, but I've been absolutely amazed at the support that we've had from both private and public sector and um, to ask one organisation to fund that would have been been a lot but we've we've got a mixture of I think 10 or 11 organisations that have um, of all put, put into that. We do a lot of work with secondary schools whereby you know we're pushing them career choice pathways um, but this was actually aimed at raising aspirations and getting to the table a little bit younger and, and making sure that we can inspire the future workforce. Young people all need to raise their aspirations from all backgrounds, all walks of life. More inspired people will contribute more, will get more from the, um, the local community as well as add to it. It really means that uh, you can have confidence in the future. This area not only will have turned itself round, but you'll be able to sustain that turnaround in the future. Giving people the, the motivation is sometimes, uh, is, is sometimes a challenge and actually having summer camps like this really does help give people the motivation, helps people think about what they might want to achieve in the future. It's fun as well as hard work. It's trying to make sure young people make sure that they understand that everything in life is not so serious but there's fun involved as well. And I think that's what this, this, this summer camp has done for our young people. It's really, really lifted the aspirations and uh, I think that's what we need to do for the future. I just want to say, I know I'm really proud of you all, everyone else is, and I hope you're very proud of yourselves. Fear, being scared of something, prevents you being created in life. Alright, so don't be scared, go and try new things as you've done with me, and hopefully you'll find lots of new things that you're good at. The change from the children coming in um, nervous and introverted on the first day and seeing them blossom and get involved in these amazing creative physical tasks, but also doing so much classroom activity, you know, doing some core numeracy and literacy in a way that they actually really enjoyed and, and um, didn't quite realise what they were doing. These were, you know, often children who, who um, you, they told us when they first came in that they struggled, some of them, with numeracy and literacy and that they didn't much like them. So uh, it, it's been great to see even the most, well, the overwhelming majority have, have, have said they've loved it. Even the most reluctant boys who've been here, I, I think, you know, they've come away and got something out of this. One of the things that, that's been striking as we've been doing this is, is the level of, of interest that it, it has generated beyond Furness. I mean, lots of my parliamentary colleagues have been asking about this. And, and I do think that what we've been able to achieve in terms of raising the money for something like, like this and getting so many people to involve, involve to make it a success is something that I hope that you, other areas could, could look at and show the potential that they have as well. And if there is an opportunity to, uh, for us to help and, uh, and show what we've been able to do and look at, look at that successful model and uh, offer it to, uh, to other areas, I'd be delighted to, uh, to be part of doing that.